Hi, I'm Dan Brissett. I'm the president of the Environmental and Energy Study Institute, also known as EESI. And I'm Kylie Tujan, the communications and policy intern. And, and we're... Today, oh no. <laughs> and, and we're, we're doing, doing the EESI autocomplete auto interview. interview. What is EESI? Uh, we're a nonpartisan, science-based, solutions-oriented nonprofit committed to advancing climate solutions, and we do that by educating policymakers about environmental, energy, and climate change issues. Let's see here. Ah, what does Earth Day mean to EESI? I think Earth Day is a reminder of not only how far we have come, but how much further we need to go in addressing climate change. For ESI, I think Earth Day uh, is kind of every day, but Earth Day specifically, which also happens to be my birthday, uh, is just an opportunity to sort of take stock and realize that we still have a lot of work to do. What are some of the things ESI <laughs> is doing to advance climate solutions? We do kind of think about our programming in three different chunks. So first is our congressional education. It's really important for us to be able to bring experts and leaders and practitioners to Capitol Hill to talk with a congressional audience about the work they're doing, uh, opportunities for additional policies and investments, uh, and to you know communicate success stories and also challenges. Second bucket is the technical assistance work, the work we do with rural cooperatives and utilities and municipal utilities to help them develop and implement programs to make clean energy more affordable and accessible for their customers. And then the third thing kind of involves you, and that is opportunities for the next generation of climate leaders. We also have a scholarship program, Future Climate Leaders, and that's something that we uh, work uh, with the UNCF, uh, the uh, great scholarship organization, to provide um, scholarships to college students from Mid-Atlantic, historically black colleges and universities to help diversify the climate advocacy and climate policy space. EESI also aims to focus on climate change solutions that are scientifically sound and equitable. For example, our bi-weekly newsletter, appropriately titled Climate Change Solutions, aims to highlight climate solutions success stories that can inspire other communities throughout the country. EESI's main audience may be Congress, but lots of people all around the country use our resources to stay informed and take actions important to them. How and why is EESI, this could say anything, credible? <laughs> I have seen firsthand how credible EESI is through my article writing process. The staff assisted me in my research by not only pointing me towards expert sources, but connecting me with leaders in the field so that I can get firsthand information straight from the source. Throughout the planning and writing process, I have worked to ensure my articles are factual and nonpartisan. Well, Kylie, if we weren't absolutely credible, would we be using practical effects in our <laughs> autocomplete interview? I think not. But seriously, folks, ESI has a 99% rating on Charity Navigator. Uh, we have platinum transparency on Candid. Uh, and we're a top-rated nonprofit uh, on great nonprofits. Thanks for making climate change a priority in your life and your charitable giving. It means a ton to have you as a partner. Thanks again, and thanks, Kylie. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>